Well, hey, how y'all doing? My name is Willie Lawson of FightBackMedia.com, FightBackMedia.com, FightBackMedia.com. I trust that you are well uh, when you are watching this video. Uh, I have not, in my history with Facebook, uh, run too afoul of the Facebook gods, but it seems a lot of us during the same small time period have... Um, fall into their wrath and had our activities restricted um, and <clears throat> you know it's not keeping me up at night hardly or even during the day <laughs> but it's just interesting to note that um, currently I'm not able to to share or comment to any groups because I guess I'm on their watch list for violence. And if you've ever seen any of my posts, what you, what you know is that I am not uh, advocating, ever advocating violence. I'm not ever advocating um, insurrection. I'm not ever advocating sedition. I'm not ever advocating anything that would get anybody physically hurt or physically harmed. Uh, I think they went back to my post explaining the, <clears throat> the coronavirus vaccine and kind of what the that new the the Moderna I think the very first one, uh, what it actually did and how it actually worked. Now I didn't tell people not to take it. I didn't tell people not to do it. But I think it's it's foolish and it's dangerous to not let people know how this thing is functioning in your body. I think that's dangerous. I think that could be harmful to people. But that's just me. Um, so I wanted to first do my do this YouTube video and um, let you know of a new website that we found this week. And my friend Frank Johnson is one of the CEOs and one of the founders of this website called. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna write the name of the website in, in the comments. It is freedomforum dot website freedomforum dot website, and it is so far. Uh, I have it up here on my screen here. It is a real live free speech website. Now, I think right now it is filling up with conservatives at this point. Uh, and I think later it will start to, uh, there, were, th there will be some people on the left who will start um, coming on board. Uh, there will be libertarians. There will be anarchists. There will be racists. There will be bigots. There will be leftists. There will be Christians. There will be Muslims, there will be Jews, um, there will be white people and black people, uh, Asian folks, Europeans, Africans, uh, Russians. There will also be straight people, gay people, transgendered, and all of the other genders um, who will populate this platform. And so the discussion will be robust robust uh probably at the very least um serious moderation will have to take place to make sure that people remain rational and remain kind to one another as much as possible while arguing their points and not attacking each other so the um you know this is going to, this is this could be something very very cool um and not necessarily a replacement for your facebook although i think it will be for mine but uh, for the most part, uh, because you can still, it isn't like you can't have a Facebook account and a Freedom Forum account. It isn't like you can't have, you, you can have a Parler account and a Twitter account if Parler ever comes back. Uh, it isn't like you can't have a MeWe account and a Facebook account and a Freedom Forum account, uh, because you can. A lot of us have bank accounts from multiple banks. You know, you'll have Maybe a bank account here and then a bank account or a credit union account somewhere else. Different purposes. Uh, so so let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can hold two thoughts in our head at one time. So we don't necessarily, if, if it isn't Facebook, it isn't anything. Or it's only Facebook because everything else is too difficult. Uh, let's see if we can hold two thoughts in our head at one time. Because uh, you really want to go to Freedom Forum dot that website you really want to try that out it's a lot it's very much facebook-esque in the way it operates 
so it should be really easy for you to operate um, and get around in shouldn't shouldn't be that big a deal um, they're not gonna and and what they're not going to do is they're not going to sell your information they are not going to do that Facebook had a, a huge problem with that um, these folks are not going to do that I have spoken with with one of the developers James Brady and I've spoken to one of the um, again one of the promoters and one of the um, people who, who are actually putting their own money in this uh, Frank Johnson there's an interview on the morning report with Frank Johnson from last week that you want to um, want to listen to. Maybe I'll put that in a in a, you know what in the uh, in the description box as well. So you really <clears throat> want to do that. I want to I wanted to say that first before I got into some other things in this particular video. Well, we are. What day is it? It is looking at, at my computer monitor. It's the 17th of January. And um, the inauguration for the new administration will be in three days. We are at the last three days of the Trump uh, administration. And there are still people who are saying that this is not over, that something uh, amazing is going to happen on the 20th. Hold on. Hold the line. Um, maybe. Maybe, but I frankly seriously doubt it. Um, I am ready just like I was before Trump to move the conservative cause forward with or without Trump just like I was willing, willing to do that with or without uh, I mean with Obama or not Obama nothing has changed and I think that we have to understand that nothing has changed uh, we see all this stuff ha flying around us we see Facebook and Twitter and we see uh, mainstream media and we see Antifa and, and BLM and all this all this stuff and we think that things have changed nothing has changed zero this is all the same stuff that's been bubbling and that's been popping off here and there the whole time what is different is that a lot of you are noticing finally a lot of you are not um, just sort of blowing it off as your conspiratorialist, super right-wing, hyper-political friends have been trying to tell you for 10 years or 20 years even. This is about globalism and those people who are participating in globalism. It, it has, it's, it's, been, it's been that way for years. It's been that way since, and it's really been that way since the advent of the Federal Reserve in 1913. So we are more than a hundred years in the struggle. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the struggle. And if you think this is purely about the behavior of, of, of Republicans and rhinos and all that red jersey, blue jersey stuff, you've got a pretty simplistic view of what you're experiencing. And you've got a pretty simplistic view on purpose on purpose because if the media and the globalists could make you think that this is spy versus spy R versus D then there can be good guys and bad guys and nobody wants to be part of the bad guys right nobody wants to be a bad guy nobody wants you to like the bad guys right white hat black hat right so they have created this or crafted this narrative that that's what you're seeing unfortunately it's not what you're seeing what you're seeing is that the united states is a would be a gem in the crown of the globalist if the united states becomes part of the global order and doesn't push back against it then those who are in power will have won the biggest victory in a millennium the biggest victory in a millennium that's what you're seeing which is why it's so important not to get caught up 
not to get caught up in the R versus D, conservative versus liberal uh, mantra. There is a good, there is something that's good though. There is good news. The good news is that the United States still has, even though we're saying the things we're saying, we have a way forward. We have a way forward that doesn't have to include bloodshed. We have a way forward. Now, I know there are a lot of people who are upset. There are a lot of hotheads out there. Uh, there are a lot of people ready to arm up and drop, drive somewhere. I don't know, I don't know what's, what's happening. But um, there are many ways forward. But a lot of us have to be a lot stronger. I'm just saying, we've got to be a whole bunch stronger than we are. And we've got to look at things a lot differently than we are looking at things right now. So, when media has us at each other on every single move and every single opinion, then they have us. They have us. They've got us chasing our tail. They have taken they have taken the focus off the things that are important. The on January sixth, the thing that happened in DC, the breaking into the Capitol and running around like a like it's the freaking Thunderdome, that is going to be used and still is being used to define every single individual that is Republican, conservative, whatever tag that you let them put on you, libertarian, whatever. If you are the least bit supportive of the per the president, then that tag is going, going to be put on you by media. And we're going to keep seeing it and keep seeing it and keep seeing it without context, keep seeing it without context, keep seeing it without context, until it becomes reality for people until it becomes truth be ready because in that it, that will get you off of what the goal is so you're asking me what the goal is aren't you well I'll tell you the goal is very difficult but very doable the goal is to return the United States in, to a constitutional republic and well, how are you going to do that? You're going to have to understand what things are available to us by the Constitution as it is written currently. And we're going to have to demand that at every level, local, state, and federal. If there are candidates running for whatever local position it is, extremely is extremely important that we get their position on constitutionality you know there is a book written by a good friend of mine and I'll put that in the description box as well uh, Chris Ann Hall that um, moves on a um, moves forward on an opinion of Judge Scalia that the <clears throat> Constitution is not a living breathing document it doesn't morph and change. If there needs to be additions or subtractions, or addition primarily, or, or explanations, then there is an amendment process. But the Constitution itself is not a living, breathing document. It says what it says. And it's interesting, if I can take this detour, it's interesting that we, um, in this society, not only do that with the Constitution, we do it with the Bible. We believe a lot of us believe that the Bible is this living, breathing document that changes with society, that changes with the time. You know, with the times, it does not. It says what it says. Now, a lot of you don't want it to say what it says. We don't like it because it, you know, it. it we feel that it's restrictive and we can't do what we want to do. But it's there for a reason. We all understand that. Constraints on government are put there for a reason so government doesn't get crazy like children you you restrain children from certain activities Not because you hate them. It's because you love them. 
the, the word of God put restraints on Christians, not because God hates us and doesn't want us to have a good time, but he loves us and, and, and he doesn't want us to crap can our lives. The concepts are very similar. So when Christians, and I know I've I, I taken a rabbit trail, so when Christians are saying that they, are, that they shouldn't participate in, in, in politics, too late. You already do. I want people to understand that this is what we are up what we are up against. This will be the first in a set of videos uh, on the Fightback Media channel to get this conversation about the way forward going. My first thoughts on the way forward are this. Number one, introspection and prayer. When I heard Rush Limbaugh apologize on his program that he had that he that he didn't do more, that we still had people in this nation who didn't understand their basic freedoms and didn't understand the Constitution, who didn't understand how important conservatism is to being uh, free and prosperous and he felt that he had not gotten to enough people and that and that in some way that he had failed. And I know that seems crazy to a lot of us. Like how in the world could Rush Limbaugh think that he failed? Because, the, and I understand, because of the 21 million people who listen, who listen on a daily basis, it's kind of an echo chamber, isn't it? Didn't reach out to enough people. Didn't get enough people involved. So, I can understand how any of the rest of us who are on our own platforms, Fightback Media, um, the Swanson Report, um, the Tatum Report, any, any number of, of other people can feel like, you know what, maybe we should reassess how we're doing something and find out what we really believe and find out if we know enough about what we believe that we can actually stand behind it. Yeah. So introspection is, is going to be important going forward. After the after Mitt Romney loses to um, Barack Obama in 2012, the uh, Republican Party uh, under Rince Priebus put out this thing called the GOP. It was called the Growth and Opportunity Project. It was a post-mortem on, on the election. How did they lose an election to a president who had the worst numbers in the history of an incumbent president. How did they lose an election to him? Now, I know today a lot of you are saying, well, maybe we didn't lose the election to them. But we would have got Mitt Romney, so, yeah. You know, eh, six of one, half dozen of the other. <laughs> as, it, as it turned out. Isn't it neat that we're finding out the truth about the, some of this? Isn't that neat? Yeah. A lot of us, you know, were Mitt, Mitt Romney supporters, and I went to see Mitt Romney in person, and um, we, we had short conversation and all this stuff, but Mitt Romney wouldn't come to my neighborhood. Hmm, was a problem. Um, but anyway, so we didn't get Mitt Romney. We got Barack Obama. Like I said, six to one, half dozen of the other, as it, as it turns out, right? Uh, so I think it's interesting that we do some introspection. What could we have done better? The GOP or the Growth and Opportunity Project was what could we have done better? What communities did, didn't we reach? And the frustrating thing for me was that a lot of people who were conservative or Republican rejected that bit of in, introspection. That's problematical. That's problematical because we have seen why because the lack of embrace to the to that bit of introspection has led to what we are experiencing now. That lack of introspection that, that we just don't want to do. We just want to look at ourselves and think that we've done anything wrong. I believe right, so I can't do anything wrong. No, you may believe correctly, but you may be acting like an ass. Yes. You hear what you, you, did you hear what I said? the truth introspection is, is super important how could we be doing things better how could we be how could we be so right 
and be failing at this level. I know, they're cheating. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Media is shutting us out. Yes. Social media is sh shadow banning and banning us and restricting us. Yes. So what are we doing wrong? We're not getting around social media. We're not getting around media. Um, if you want to know one of the things that even the most ardent Trump hater will have to admit to you is that he knew how to manipulate social media. He knew how to manipulate media. He knew how to become the flavor of the day. That, that was his genius. Which is why they attacked him there as soon as they could. We have to learn a lesson. Are we ready to learn the lessons? Are, are we ready to pray that God shows us the way forward? Not just in this, but in everything are we ready for that? Are we ready to learn those lessons? Are we re are we really able to ready to learn what we have to learn? I most certainly hope so. Hey, folks, we got to get out of here. So listen, www.fightbackmedia.com, www.fightbackmedia.com, www.fightbackmedia.com. Come listen, come enjoy. Go over to freedom uh, freedomforum website uh, and enjoy enjoy what's there friend me for, um, join our fight back media page and the morning report i mean our fight back media group and the morning report page so you'll be kept up to date with what we're doing uh there won't there will be less and less activity on facebook i think uh my my thought is that we're going to move about 60 to 70 percent of our activity over to freedom forum uh, we'll see how that works out. I am I, I am hopeful that this forum will do exactly what they are saying they are doing. So far, so good. So far, really good, I should say. Um, so meet us over there. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody. Oh, the dude on my shirt? That's Chris Chris Addicts. Been in the struggle since the start. So we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness sakes, y'all take care of yourself. We will see you when we see you. Peace.